Welcome to Art with Janine. I decided to do a little experiment using liquid acrylics and adding some water to them. I've got red, blue and yellow. They just come in tubes like this and they're just a basic liquid acrylic paint. Just stirring them up and I'm going to keep the brush for that color in, in the water. Okay, so the first thing I wanted to try was to put some white acrylic paint into this tray and see what kind of texture we can create when we just put drops of these colors in. So we'll put some red. Some blue. That looks pretty already. And some yellow. Okay, I'm not going to do much with that at this point except just put a piece of paper over it and pick up the colors. Gently pressing, not hard because I don't want to lose whatever cool pattern or texture will come off on the paper. Let's pick it up. Wow. And that was just from drops of paint in the white. Look at all the colors that were created. That is so beautiful. I'm going to stick that down there. I really like that. I'm going to make another one. <laughs> Let's try this time moving, moving the paint a little over here like this and then placing it down and see what we get. So I just scraped the paint across and put the paper in again. Let's see what we get. Oh wow, that is just so beautiful. I absolutely love it. It kind of reminds me of mountains and like flowing hills and mountains, I think. With a distant sky, red sunset sky, possibly water down here. Use your imagination and you can create beautiful things. Okay, well, I love when paint gives you something that you didn't plan for. That is one of the things I absolutely love about painting. I have a little helper for my next experiment. We're going to put plastic wrap in the bottom of the tray. And we'll twist it a little. And we'll just put it down like that. There. Now, would you like to help put some paint in? We're going to just flick some paint, different areas, downwards, flicking downwards. You don't want to flick up and down because you'll get it everywhere. Down, and then blue. There we go. Great. Now let's get a little bit of white paint. And drip that on. I just have this big bottle of basic acrylic white paint. I drip, drip, drip some of that on. Great. Now, what do you think we do next? Put some paper on it. Put some paper on the plastic wrap. Would you like to do that? Uh -huh. Okay.
Wow, you did a good job. Push that down real good. Okay, now we're going to pick this up and bring it out. And we are going to just twist a little bit more of the plastic wrap. Would you like to twist a little? Twist it so we get lots of different shapes in there. And we'll just press that down a little and put it aside to dry. Now we need to wash our hands. Now we're going to try a different texture. Let's try putting the paint on the sponge. You put some paint on the sponge. Do you want a different color? Red, yellow, or blue? Blue. Blue. There you go. And I will put some sponge on, some paint on the sponge. Just anywhere. Don't know if we put it back in down. We have to make sure we wash this sponge right away afterwards because this is acrylic paint and acrylic dries hard on things and doesn't wash off easily. So with on fabrics, that is. Because it just sinks into the pores. Oh. That's okay. Okay. Uh huh. Let's see what happens. Now, how strong can you push that? <laughs> Super strength. Should we see what it did? Yeah. You lift it. You like that? Yeah. It's cool. Look at the little shapes in it. The spongy shapes. Should we leave it as a circle or should we add more to the corners? No. You leave it. Okay, we're going to leave it like that because it looks cool. One more experiment? Oh, yeah. We're going to do another experiment. Okay, so now I have a little bottle that is 50 50, just basic white glue and water. I am going to put this in here and I was thinking I would spray this with the glue water. Okay, would you like to put some paint on it now? So just flick the paint on the paper. And I'll flick some of this color. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is oh, I'm dripping going to down. scrape. It's dripping down. Yes, it is. Look at this. I'm going to scrape across. And wherever the glue was, the paint came off. Isn't that cool? Wow. I love it. Okay, let's try another. This time, I'm going to try and spray the uh, lines with the glue a little straighter, um, like vertical, and we'll see if we can create a forest effect at the top. And a bit of white. Let's get a bit of white in there. I'll just drip a bit with the, this is just a solid white paint. When we scrape it across, it should make it cloudy. Could you put a little yellow on the bottom for me? Just down here. That's it. Good job. Let's put a little more. In here. And you know what? I think I'll add a little red to the middle because there could be some colored bushes okay, in Okay, so you ready? hoping this is going to look like a scene of some kind. What does that look like? Does that look like it's got trees in it? Yeah. And sky? And you know that red and yellow looks actually look like, look like some kind of water in the background or and then there's the green at the bottom for the bushes and plants at the bottom of the trees. I like that. 
figures out. There we go. We have some paint accumulating in the bottom here. So what we decided to do was add a little more of the glue to the bottom, the glue water, and then add some more paint in here. There you go. You can add some. I'll add some. And then we'll spread it. And we'll put the paper on top of it and see what kind of pattern we get. Okay, this is the last experiment for now. I can't really see my feet. Should we tip it in? Sure. A little bit of blue and the yellow. There we go. And then we'll tip, tip a little. Look at that. That is magnificent. I love it. Wow. Okay, let's put this in now and try to pick up some of that pattern. So it kind of drooped down. Wow, that is beautiful. I'm going to just Put that back in and get more for the corner. I know. There. Love that. It's like a marbled effect. So beautiful. Okay, we'll put this one to dry. Whoa, look how it does that. See, and the red goes all around it. Mm-hmm. Like drops? Well, that concludes the class for today. However, we're going to continue having fun here with this, using up the last of the paper. And I hope that you guys will have fun too, wherever you're doing the class. And I look forward to creating the next one. Just one little tip. The plastic wrap on the acrylic paint has to be removed before it dries so that it doesn't stick to the paper. But when you pull it off, you get this beautiful effect. I just love it. And there you have it.